Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to try something new. I'm using this new setup to see if it works out. I hope it feels a little bit more closer as if uh, I'm talking to you as like a friend. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you my uh, ring collection. And so, yeah, uh, this is the box that I keep most of my rings in. I have a bunch of jewelries. But yeah, this is some of my jewelry collection. Uh, most of these are turquoise and sterling silver. I'm gonna start off by showing you some of the more everyday ones that I wear, and then get into some of the more statement pieces that I only wear out in special occasions. And so, yeah, I'll start off with four of my favorite pieces. The first one is this Will Vandenberg ring it's got a turquoise turquoise ring uh stone on him this artist is famous for the coil design coil work and so yeah this one is worn usually on my index finger or my middle finger this artist does the coil designs uh that you can see around the stone but um to this day I wear this piece a lot. The next one is this Darkened Dawn piece that I got a while back. It's sterling silver, of course. And right in the middle, you have the third eye, the all-seeing eye, pineal eye, whatever you want to call him. This is a pretty big, solid piece, quite heavy and sturdy. I wear this on my index finger and my middle finger quite often. I mean, sometimes I stack this with other pieces, like a biker, you know. Very easy to wear, quite heavy, and yeah. So the next one is this Jennifer Curtis. She's a Native American jeweler, and her father, is also a famous jewelry designer. This one is one of my newer additions. I got this uh, when I was back in Japan this time. I got this at Beams Japan. I really like this piece as well. It's also really cool because she's, you know, there's not too many female d designers and her stamp work is amazing. So yeah, let's go to the next piece. This one is a signet piece. It's from Workstat Munich. It's got this scratch design. It came like that, a big groove there. Uh, this is very, very minimal in design, but it's got like a solid, it's got weight. I really like this. Um, yeah, the, the last four pieces that I showed you, all of these, I when I wear them, I keep it quite simple. These days, I don't really wear too many rings, and so I wear one depending on my outfit and just like to keep it simple. And next, I like to go into other signet pieces. These are, I have two from Tom Wood, and this one is the one that I can wear on my index finger or middle finger. Very simple. It's just got that Tom Wood logo on the side. Very minimal, simple. And I actually have this in a size smaller. And this one I wear on my pinky. This one I wear a lot more often. I was looking for a pinky ring, something just very minimal. Just wanted to look like those Italian mafia type look. I like to wear it a little bit sideways like that just uh some swagger but um yeah this one i wear a lot more often than the other tom wood one and the last signet piece is this one it's a it's a hexagon shape it's a little bit more low key it's asymmetrical um this one is by a native american designer as well i got this in a japanese store called silver and gold this one is a little bit thinner i, I wear this when more in the summer just uh very casual just keeping my uh look a bit more basic and simple and now i like to get into my more statement pieces uh this one boom right here is a goat piece 
This one is by designer Toshi. His jewelry brand is called Dog State. You gotta check their stuff out. It's super dope. He worked at The Great Frog London for 14 years and now he has his own brand and he recently opened a store in Tokyo. I haven't gotten the chance to go there yet, but yeah, all his stuff is really dope. He has a couple collaboration pieces with Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash. Let's go to my more designer fashion pieces. First off, I have this Hyder Ackerman pinky ring. Boom, right here. This one is not a full ring. It's kind of like that. So you can kind of resize them. But um, this one I got it from a store called Why Are You Here in Osaka. It's a store that sells a lot of Rick Owens uh, ready-made fear of god a lot of uh high-end designer high street brands it's a low-key statement piece and so yeah that's that this other one is from paul smith this one is kind of like a college ring class ring um this one has a turquoise right in the middle paul smith brain design on the side and the other side has got this rabbit hair design. And like Paul Smith's style, it's got this peace sign right in the middle. But um, I used to work at a Paul Smith for about two years. And so yeah, this one is kind of like a sentimental piece for me. I rarely wear them, but um, yeah, it's part of my collection. And this one is by the same designer, Will Vandenberg, the first one that I showed you. This one is a little bit more feminine and sizing wise, it's a little bit smaller. And so I can only wear it on my ring finger. And so I have only worn this out a couple times, but really, really dope piece. One of my favorite pieces in my collection, but yeah. And this one, Ooh, this one, boom. This one is another Native American piece. Uh, this one is a special piece of mine. It's really unique because in Native American jewelry, there's hardly any motif with skulls on them. But this one is, I believe, deer bone, made out of deer bone. I got this from Pine Ridge in Osaka. They have a lot of Native American jewelry there. Very dope store. This is a grail piece of mine. This again, I don't really wear them out too much. Times I wear them out on Halloween. And one cool thing about him is on the cheekbone jaws, you can see ridges there. There's actually little holes in there. So yeah, the detail on this thing is just absolutely crazy. If you wanna see more more of my jewelry collection, necklaces and earrings, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please check out more videos that I have. Yeah, see you next week. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.